Hi everyone. Today we'll be taking a look at a Newtone SPKN 110 RGBL. This unit basically operates with a wireless control. It has where you can operate, it has a speaker in it that you can operate through your Bluetooth of your mobile device or any Bluetooth device. Um, and it also operates with an app. So I'm going to show you today, first we're going to go through how to set up the switch, the wireless control um, to make this unit work. So this unit basically is kind of like, unlike any other unit, you would run your power from your breaker box directly to the exhaust fan box um, and wire it accordingly. We're going to take a look at this switch. This is how this wireless switch comes. Just like so, here's a faceplate that unsnaps. And here is the switch itself. And you look at the switch, this unit takes two AAA batteries. What you would do is you would take a regular screwdriver, and if you take a look right here, there's like a little notch. If you just get underneath there at that screwdriver, and just kind of pry it a little bit, it'll, it'll separate the two. So I'm going to go ahead... And I'm going to put my AAA batteries in. You want to make sure you put the negative to negative and positive to positive. And then I'm going to just go ahead. I'm not going to put it in a, a switch box or anything like that. Um, just because of filming purposes. I just wanted to show you how to access that battery compartment. What you need to do next. This is really important. You have to make sure there was no power to this unit. Um... For, for give it at least five minutes. What you're going to do, and I'm going to walk away from this camera, I'm going to go ahead and put power to this unit. You have approximately three minutes once power is turned on to link this wireless control to this unit. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go turn the power on. Power is now on to the unit. So what I'm going to do, because I got three minutes, I'm going to press and hold the light button for five seconds. The unit just linked. It's flashing just to signal that it linked. Here's the fan. Fan's running. But that's all it is to basically set this up. Again, the most important thing is, you know, make sure there's no power to the unit. Let it off for some time. And when you get the batteries connected to your wall control, then turn the power on and link that wall control. Again, it's just a matter of pressing and holding that white light on button. Just press and hold it for five seconds. Next, what I want to show you, show you is I have a Google Pixel phone. And what we'll go through is we'll set up the Bluetooth since power is on. What you're going to do is you're going to go into your settings. And you're going to go into Bluetooth pairing. Hopefully you can see this on the camera. Um, what I'm going to do is pair new devices. And there it just popped up, Chroma Comfort and Sonic Speaker. I'm going to go ahead and, and click on that. It's going to ask for a password. You're going to just touch it and put in password 1, 2, 3, 4, and hit OK. And now you just heard the beep. It is now connected. So now if I wanted to, I could play music um, through that speaker. So the next thing what we can do is this unit works with an app. So you can go into your, your Play Store. And you can put in the Brown Chroma Comfort app. You can click on it. 
and basically it's going to say install and what you're going to do is you're going to press that and if you take a look it's done I'm going to open the app and it'll say allow Chroma Comfort to access this device and I'll just put while using the app I'm going to click on it it's going to set up the device it says does your bro new tone device have an integrated speaker yes does your switch look like this yes device setup Sonic fan yes and then I'm done now I'm the app is already connected all they gotta do is hit it and the light just turned on I can turn the light off it can turn the exhaust fan on but that's it that's how easy it is I hope this video helps thanks